Unpacking Yorkshire tea. Making inferences from everyday objects. Unpacking Yorkshire tea. Building fr- critical literacy by asking inquiry questions. Does the packaging of this tea represent the time period when this tea was first made? Who invented the idea of putting tea leaves in a bag? Why would the tea company put sheep on the box? And why are there people playing cricket in the background? Where did the tea come from? Why are there people playing cricket on the box? How has tea changed over time? What is the historical importance of tea? What is the origin of tea? Where are tea leaves grown? Why is there sheep on the packaging and who invented the tea business? Why does the box look like that? What's so special about Yorkshire tea and why are there people playing cricket? Were any of the black tea ingredients imported and where from? Why are they using so much British imagery and language? How does the language used on the cover of the box affect its appeal to some consumers? This, what does the sheep in the background have to do with tea? Does it let us know what environment the tea was made in? I don't think so. Why is Yorkshire tea being drunk here in Australia? Was the tea grown in Yorkshire or England? If not, where has the tea been imported from? And why are people playing cricket on the box? How does tea affect culture in the Industrial Revolution? And what role did tea play in the Industrial Revolution? Where did tea originate? There's a clue. Why is there a sheep on the tea box? What is tea and why are there people playing cricket depicted on the tea box cover? What other sources could corroborate the inferences from this tea box? What is the, how has the value and status of tea changed over time? And how did tea travel through history? Unpacking Yorkshire tea, making inferences from everyday objects about imperialism, the movement of people and our colonial past, about imperialism, the movement of people and our colonial past.